Okay, good afternoon. I just worked this problem and basically synthetic division consists of rewriting, if you need to, the dividend in the standard, standard form and then putting the coefficients inside the bracket like this. We have x, 1x squared plus 3x minus 15 and then for the outside we put the zero for this so if we set this x plus three equal to zero then we would have x equals negative three which goes right here and then we drop the one multiply negative three by one add we get zero negative three times zero is zero so this last space here is called our Remainder. And so this right here, this place here, this is our numbers place, or constant, I'll say constant place. So our answer, and answer and division problems we call a quotient. quotient. Very good. So our quotient here is going to be 1x and we don't have any numbers, any constants, then we have minus 15 over x plus 3. Now, how can we check our answer after we get one? By graphing? You may be able to do that. What I was thinking, I was thinking of a different answer, Angel. If we are right, what should we be able to do to check if we are right? We should be able to multiply our quotient by our divisor, and then we would get our dividend. Now, the, this it can become a little complex. This is is x plus three a factor of this up here? Yeah. No, it is not. What does it take to be a factor? It takes a remainder of zero. Yeah. Okay. So x plus three therefore is not a factor of our dividend. But that's part of where we're going. Okay? Now, does Emily, is this familiar from last year? A little bit? This is one of the things last year that I think some of you were saying, yeah, that was, that was pretty easy when we did it last year. So, so anyway, uh, should I just pick somebody in the random name generator now? Yeah, let's do that for number three. Here we go. Looks like Adam is going to be our guy. Okay, Adam, what do we got here? Okay, does everybody agree with this representation? X cubed, X squared, X, and eight. Does that look good? Yeah. yeah, it looks good. Okay, good job, what next? Outside, okay. I forgot what you meant. <laughs> okay. So one times one? Is one zero. Zero. What goes here now? Uh, eight. One times zero? Zero. One. One times one is one. And then eight, nine, nine, ten, nine. Eleven. So we're going to have, what is our answer? What place is this going to be here? The what place? Uh, It'll be x squared place. 
So what is our answer going to be for this? Thank you, Adam. Oh, burn. Uh, one. One plus nine. nine. Sobre. So is that our answer here? Yeah, yeah. All right, that's good. Okay, good. Any questions on that? One thing we're going to be doing after our after our fall break is we're going to come back and still be doing more of this after the break. So we're going to get a, a nice bridge. And I hate to I hate to tell you, but I don't have any big packets for you over the break. Oh, thank goodness. Angels complain about it. Adam says, "I'm not doing you. it." Man. You're not doing it. I'm protesting. Protesting. I don't, I don't have any. So, so you're protesting not getting the packet. I'm so you, protesting to. I'll do the next one. Oh, so the, you do the next one. Let me get. Uh, I want to go ahead and, and do the name generator anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna give uh, Adam a start. Okay, here we go. Oh, let's go get Hannah. Me? I just got back. Oh, wait. We're ready to get three. Oh, so I'm on number four? Number four, yeah. Okay. You need a half a minute on that? Yeah, it is 30 seconds. Ooh, actually, I'm stuck at school. So we're, we're adding the ones right there in the middle, like we're adding, after spark. You're adding one to this? Yes, yeah. And that's one of the things that actually makes your synthetic division life easier sometimes because, see what I have back here. Yeah, you add and uh, that can make your life easier. Okay, we're ready to go. I think so. I don't know if it's right. Okay, all right. Well, that's that's good. I like. I did the synthetic division, and then on the outside is three, and then it's two, negative five, negative three, and then I did the two, and three times two is six, and then I got one, and then three times one is three, and I got zero. That's our major. So it's two x. Okay, any, any questions about that? Nope. I have a, I have a question. Is x minus 3 a factor of 2x squared minus 5x minus 3? Yes. Yeah. Yes, how do you know? Because the other remainder is here. Because the remainder is here, very good. I also have people who learn some things in this class now. It's really awesome. Oh, the two. Yeah, actually, when I put these stars in there, I just started using them about a week ago, right? That's actually improved grades in this class. Mm -hmm. like, like yeah, like by point. yeah, we try. And use no, it's good to help because it gets like extra credit things. So, person like I had a student yesterday. I put an assignment in there. She got 130 points on the assignment for three stars. Okay, we're ready to go for number five now. Number five, we're going to have. Oops, I'm going to pick the right one here. Here we go. Oh, Emily's due number five. Oh, yeah. All right, what do we got? All right. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Right down the one. Uh, negative two. Negative five, and then positive ten, and then thirty. So your answer will be x minus five plus three over x plus two. Okay, is is x plus two a factor of x squared minus three x minus seven? No. No, what is that? And I know that you know why. Because you've been paying attention in class. Woo! You've been pretending to pay attention to an algebra 2 teacher or a pre calculus teacher. And a calculus teacher. And a calculus teacher, yes. And a financial math teacher. Mr. Yeah. Well, do you? Okay. Well, let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and scroll. Kaylee says she has a question on the next one. So before I spin the wheel, on this, what is your question? Um, so would you put in place uh, the x squared base and the zero? Maybe you said that. You put zeros in the places there? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to spin the wheel, but, but Kaylee brings up a good point, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just demonstrate her point if I can. So if I take if I take 1,006 and divide 1,006 by 3, my question is, is that the same as taking 16 divided by 3? Are they equal things? No, they are not. Why not? Because in this one here, what are we doing? We are missing the hundreds place and tens place. So these ones in the middle are placeholders and so what Kaylee is telling me and you can correct me if I'm wrong Kaylee I'm sure you're not going to be ashamed to do that so she's saying instead of instead of this being one and and just negative six we have to worry also about I don't want to say worry that's maybe not the right word we have to to pay attention to that's a better word to these places as well is that what you're saying yeah, so that's really so that's really a good concept, and uh, and what goes on the outside here? One. So I'm going to spin a name. I'm going to give Kaylee some credit for her good observation on that because that's really good. But we'll get her some. Oh, we Kayla. Kayla, you got it. Kayla will be doing this. So Six. So this was your answer. Did you synthetically divide to get it? Okay. So, so you can just correct me if I'm wrong. So that's one, and then we get a one here. Add one. 1 times 1 is 1, 1, 1 times 1 is 1, negative 5. Does that look right? Yes. Yeah, it looks 100% right. Good job. And really, once you get the hang of synthetic division, it's just like almost the easiest thing to do. Well. Yeah, this is a really easy. And one thing that Kayla mentioned, she mentioned, well, well, couldn't we just relax in this class and be ready to go at it on um, Tuesday after we get back? Yeah, we could do that. But are in the other classes you're doing that? Every other class, yeah. Well, what we're going to be doing is we're going to just build on this so you're going to have a bridge. And what's going to happen to your minds in those intervening six missed days of school? We're going to forget. You're going to forget some details of it, right? But are you going to forget the whole thing? Yes. Yeah. Probably not. I will. You will? I will. Okay, it, uh, it can happen. But do you remember anything, Emily, of doing this last year at all? We did some of this last year. So you remember something of that from last year. If nothing more than that, you did it. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and spin the wheel for this guy. Or seven, yeah. Okay, this is this is you. That is you, Emma. Okay, what do we got here? Synthetic division bracket, okay, we got it. That is So our answer is? 5x plus 1. Does that look right? Yep. Right. Then if we can multiply those together, right, that would help us. Help us do that. Now, here, thanks. What's wrong with number eight, if we want to call it wrong? Number eight. <laughs> you have an answer for eight? Mm -hmm. yeah. 2x minus 1 minus 6 over 3x plus 1. So she got, what did you get, 2x? 2x minus 1 plus 6 over 3x plus 1. No, minus 6. Oh, minus 6. Minus 6 over 3x plus 1. Anybody else get that for an answer? No. I got something different. You got something different? Do you use synthetic division? Yeah. Well, how'd you do it? Did you do long division or synthetic division? How'd you do it, Caleb? I just divided it and then divided it. By that, and then when that thing had a remainder, so But did you synthetically divide? So you had long division? Guess and check, basically. Oh, so you guessed and checked it. So she and then kind of whatever was okay. So she kind of kind of worked her way through it, is what she's saying. Well, here's one thing that happens is whenever you don't have like a single x, it makes synthetic division more challenging. So uh, yeah, it's still pretty easy for you, even synthetic division. Just just make it go zero. Yeah. So let's let's do that. Okay, what we have to do is this. Oh, we'll do it synthetic division because I'm fresh enough. So what we have up here, like I have one, or oh, six, right? Yeah, six. Six, negative one, negative seven. And what goes here? Negative one third. Negative one third. So we bring down the six. So we get six. And then negative one third times six. Negative two. Negative two, we get negative three. And negative one third times that is one. one, and we get six. Well, I mean, for this we get like six x minus three x plus six. Maybe well, we get six. Minus six. Oh, excuse me. Plus six or minus? Gosh. But are these the same thing, the one that Kayla gave us? Does the 3 have an x on it? Yeah, yeah. 3x. No, the second third. Oh, it's 3x. That should be minus 3. Yeah. Should be minus 3, yeah. I'm just think, trying to think ahead too fast. So these are not the same, right? Okay. What tells you between the two that Kayla's might actually be, if one of these is right, why does it have to be Kayla's? Kayla's better. Kayla's is kind of right because it's simplified. Well, here. We can take a 3 out and be 2x minus 1. If we, if we went and divided 6x squared by 3x, we would get 2x, right? Yep. But what you have to do when you synthetically divide, you have to make one more step. You have to also have to divide by 3 on this thing here. 
I'm not sure why, but what happens is for that we get 2x minus 1 and minus 6. So you have to do sort of a hack or an adjustment if you do synthetic division when you don't have x to 1 power. Now, when you do this thing with just regular log division. So when there's a number on front, then you don't. Yeah, then you have to, if there is a number in front, it, it can increase your complexity somewhat. So you have to make another step at the end to get the right answer. And so we put 3x plus 1, we divide, we get 2x. And here we get 6x squared. And then we have plus 2x subtract out, we get negative 3x and bring down the negative 7. Divide, we get negative 1, 1 times 3x, then negative 3x, negative 1 times 1. At subtract, we get negative 6 for our remainder. So we get the same thing here. But yes, as it turns out, Kayla's answer was correct. All right. What is Okay, negative seven minus negative one. Right? Negative seven minus negative one is negative six. And what you just mentioned is what makes long division sometimes harder. Okay, let me give credit for that. This, this one here just has to do with sort of the articulation of that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this one and write a summary statement. What we do on this one is the same thing as, as we've been, what you're doing is you're taking f, f of x divided by d of x. And for this, we can synthetically divide 1, negative 2, 3, out here, 1. So we bring 1, 1 times 1 is 1, add. Negative one, negative one, two. two. So our answer is going to be x minus one. So that's going to be our answer to number one. Okay? So the only tweak is you have a summary statement element here to this exercise. That's it. Otherwise, it's just the same as we've been doing, right? Summary, summary statement is is f of x over d of x equals blah, blah. So it's just a more fully articulated answer because it says divide f of x by d of x. And so here is the proper articulation of that answer. You see that? So that's all it is. Okay, next we'll get a a chosen student here for number two and we're running out of candidates here but we do have Angel Minus 
2 over x plus 1. Equals x plus 1 yeah. plus, what'd you say? Oh, x plus 1 minus 2 over x plus 1? He put all 1's across the top. He didn't put zeros in the place of the missing cards. Okay, so you know that's not right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so go ahead and take a, take a minute and tell me the right one. x squared minus x plus 1 minus 2 over x plus 1. Minus 2 over x plus 1. So let's, did you work it out like this? Synthetically yeah. division. So this is going to be like 1. Zero, zero, negative one. negative one. Bring this down, we get one. And one times, negative one times one, negative one. Then we, negative one times negative one, one, one. Negative one times one is negative one, negative two. It looks like that to me, is that right? Yeah, looks good. All right, thanks for doing that. Let's go on and do number three. I'm going to choose somebody again. Somebody. Yeah, they're pretty good. We're going to have similar ones here on Tuesday after we get back, too. Uh, well. Which one is this? Three? Three, yeah. Three people up there. Yeah. Wash every last. Carbon. Ah. Carbon, all right, carbon. All right, carbon, you have number three done? Uh, hold on. You do. Let me get Angel. I know. I'm going to send Okay, let's tell us your answer and then we'll see. Because I like the way Angel did. He gave us the answer, right? So, so what did you say again? Okay, I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to do it. Pretty, we're running pretty low on class time, so I'll put 1, 4, 7, negative 9. Where'd you get a 1 from? 3. Sorry, I'm going to get So we have this 1, and we get negative 3, 1, and we got negative 3 here. Okay, it's looking good so far. And we get negative 12. And negative 22 or negative 21 right so that's making this look good right looks good 
And we got one last one here. So I want you to, I'm going to pick somebody quick for that. Is it Kaylee or Kenzie? It's going to be Kaylee or Kenzie. Yeah. I already got it done. Get that here. Oh, Kaylee. Yeah. Kaylee, Kenzie. I told y'all it wouldn't be me. <laughs> this I'm gonna do this really fast four negative eight two negative one and we're gonna put negative one half out here bring down the four and we put negative two negative ten and we get five seven and we get negative And then we have to divide all these by 2. We divide everything by 2. We get 2 minus 5. And then we get 3. This is going to be 3.5. Okay, Kaylee, everything's good except for this thing right here. This is going to be 3.5. Okay. So that is it today. Good job. Stand, stand uh, to the end.